Hello everybody. I hope you're having a wonderful week. This is literally the 537th time I've tried to film this intro. Have a quick, uh, no fuss, no monkey business, no foundation routine on this face. I always enjoy whenever um, I do this, my makeup looks good, it looks fresh, and I feel good about it. And yeah, I feel like so many people can um, apply this and it can be useful. So with that being said, I hope that you all have a great weekend ahead of you, whatever you have in store. And stay tuned because here comes the tutorial. We are going to start by priming the face. Make sure you have your skincare first. Number one, no matter what kind of hurry you're in, do that skincare. Um, when I'm not wearing foundation, what I like to make my skin look super healthy. I'm going to take the Milani Prime Light and mix a little bit of my MAC Gold Light Strobe Cream together. Real life people, real life. We are ready to conceal. I'm gonna use the Maybelline Better Skin um, concealer. I really like this one because the color light medium is super close to my skin tone, which you want. You don't want it to be super, super light in a contrast. You want it to cover, but you want it to be very similar. And I am pale AF right now. I'm just hitting the points that are going to need it. And we're going to spread all that out. Like that concealer it it layers really well with foundations and stuff but with bare skin it looks good by itself like it looks like your skin which is maybe why they call it better skin huh okay now a little bit of Cody airspun powder and we are gonna press it in. and I'm not baking I am just locking that concealer in place and I like using my damp beauty blender beauty sponge this is the velvet sponge from Elsie Cosmetics which I am obsessed with I like pushing the powder with a wet sponge into the skin better for looks like this I feel like it um something about the moisture helps to kind of adhere it all together and it does lock it into place Let's do brows, okay. <sighs> Why? We ain't got time for that, stop it. I'm not going to totally fill them in, pardon that moment. So I'm just mainly gonna take my pencil and fill in right here where this is kind of sparse. And I may hit that just a tiny bit on the bottom, but that's gonna be about it. And then I will set it with my brow gel. And this is my Brow Wiz, my Anastasia Beverly Hills, Hills Brow Wiz in medium brown. I don't think that I told you in the midst of my dramatic moment. I love these guys. Um, so keeping in the affordable um, theme, the one that I love is Beaches and Cream from Makeup Geek. And then we're also going to use Rapunzel. And those are the only two that we're going to use today. But I do love these shadows. Great price point, great quality. I'm using a Morphe M441. I'm going to take a little bit of that. And I'm going to focus on the outer corner. Bringing it down to my lash line. But brush placement goes first right there at the top of the outside of my arch my arch, my crease, and build it up. That's, that's a trick there. We're in a hurry, we got stuff to do, but don't get shadow happy. You know, little bits at a time, build it up. Now I'm sweeping a little bit more into the crease, 
but concentrating the color on the outside. And this is more just to add a little dimension to my eye, make me look awake. Um, we did cancel out a little bit with the concealer and the powder, so we want to add a little bit of dimension back to it. Next, I'm going to take my Morphe M506, same shade, Beaches and Cream, and I'm just going to run it on the bottom to connect the two. This is not a necessary step, I've just found that on my eyes I like that little bit of shadow underneath. And then I'm going to take Morphe E36. I love this little brush. I love this brush so, so much for brow bone highlight and inner corner highlight. And I'm going to take Rapunzel and just hit it right there and right hair go on in my inner corners. And I'm going to go back with my blender and just soften this edge. I didn't add any product to it. I just do not want harsh line. And we're ready for mascara and I'm gonna use um, Lash Paradise Black is Black. I like to do two coats on the top and one on the bottom so that I'm gonna let it get a little bit tacky and we're gonna move on to bronzer. I'm going to use my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer and a Morphe E2 brush. And I like to stamp. I love this brush for bronzer. It is just the right size. That's what she said. <laughs> okay, we are bronzed up and blended. Not patchy. This is MAC. Hush Tone Extra Dimension Blush to so the color is called Hush Tone. I love this one, especially for looks like this. It just adds some life to my face. And I'm using, um, this is It Cosmetics for Ulta Brush. Oh, I can't even see what it's called. This is the Airbrush Powder Wand, um, but I love it for blush. I kept the eyes and everything really simple, so I like to have a nice flush to my face. A little more mascara on the top and the bottom this time. I am using the Morphe M510 and the Maybelline Master Chrome Rose Molten Rose Gold. Again, going for healthy looking skin. Nice lips I'm gonna take the Flower Beauty um, Petal Pout Lip Liner in Toffee and I'm gonna line my lips and I'm gonna fill them in a little bit and I like to use my finger and kind of smudge it um, so there's not a harsh line. <laughs> gives our lips some nice definition and like I said a little color to the face since we kept the eyes super simple and I'm going to top that off with this L'Oreal Colorese Shine 900 Glossy Fawn. Love this stuff. I have used it non-stop since I got it. And the last thing we're going to do is we are going to set the face and I'm going to use the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Love this stuff. Super affordable. Um, really, really good option. And the mist is like <sighs> heaven. And we did lay powders on bare skin. So this is just a great way to keep, not only keep everything in place, but to really melt those powders into the skin. Um, because you'd never want on a no foundation day it to look like you layered stuff on your face and it's sitting weird. So this is definitely a key thing to me in my opinion. And I like to go back and press it all in with the Damp Beauty Blender. 
And that's it. We're done. So I hope that you liked it. Please like and subscribe and I will see y'all next time.